Hi guys, Melissa Francis here, and I want to show you um, a little bit of some of our new product, um, some of our older product that you have may have used or may have not, and uh, love to show you um, kind of what we've been doing and a make and take that we've been doing at the expos this year. So let's just have a little peek. All right, so what we're doing, this is actually more for Easter, and we are, whoops, are going to be uh, working with, I'll just move this down a little bit more, so our glass um, glitter. Um, we have nine colors of glass glitter. I don't know if I have them all with me here, but this one is our gold. I don't know if you can see it. That's our gold. Um, this one is our copper. It's new. I absolutely love it. Um, and then we have green, uh, purple. I had so many people ask, you need to bring purple. And then we have two blues and they're hard to tell apart, but, um, this one is what we call ocean. It's more of a lighter blue. And this is what we call sky blue. It's just a little bit darker. Um, my husband says, I don't know how you, talk, you tell them apart. Then we have a pink right here. Um, and then we have a red, um, in here. And we also have a silver and I think two, four, six, I'm missing a couple of other colors. Um, anyway. But let's get to the fun project that we're going to be doing. We're making these adorable little um, tags um, uh, with a new product that we have, it's, uh, which is a chipboard, which we call Thin Chips. And they are um, made of like a much, much thinner um, chipboard. Uh, and these are really pretty with a really pretty kind of very fine scallop around the edge. Um, don't know if you can see and um, I really like them. They're quite durable uh, You can um, do all kinds of things with them, but for this project what we're doing is uh, What I did was I actually painted the edges so on the card you can kind of see you don't always even need to uh, Paint the whole um, project because you are going to be covering it. I use this fabulous paint that dries super fast uh, It's called da dazzling metallics by deco art um, I like the silver and the gold. Um, I've used it in a couple of classes and everybody else is like, oh, Melissa, I just absolutely love that paint. So you're going to start off, um, I'll work with the, the card first. Um, just paint the chipboard, dry super fast. Then also really cool, which is new, is Melissa Francis glue. Um, if you like 3-in-1 glue by ba Beacon, you'll love this glue. Um, it is um, very similar to it and I, I absolutely love it. So when you get the glue, <clears throat> you have to, um, I know sometimes people, what they do is they cut the tip off, which I have done already. I like to try to cut it as close to the top as possible so I get more precision. Um, but a lot of them um, start squeezing and no glue comes out because they don't realize there's actually a cap here in the top. So I always just stick my little scissors in here and remove it. Um, and I find that the biggest um, issue is people, they cut the top and they go to squeeze it out and nothing's coming out. So they keep cut, cutting down farther and farther and farther, making this gigantic hole. Next thing you know, the, the glue is just flowing out like crazy. Um, and that's the problem is because they missed a little lid. So um, in the kits, you're just going to get some cardstock with some really pretty little... Um, Postcard images is in one kit. We have a box kit. I'll show you a little bit more and you'll also see them all on our website. Whoops. Um, I also like to always put the cap on. I don't always screw it on, but glue is not, um, does not love air. So uh, in between, even if I'm only using the glue, um, if I'm going to use it again in a couple of seconds, I still like to put the lid on. Um, just to keep the air out. I don't spend my time screwing it all back on the glue, but I just like, I'll just pop it back on like that. So once you have it all done like that, you can see it's on there. It's really pretty. You can see this is the silver paint that I used and we're going to um, put some glass glitter on. Um, and I think I'm going to use the, mm, I'm going to use the copper. It's a little bit different, but I really, really like it. It's a little bit more vintage. Now what you want to do, and this is where I love our new glue, um, because it's a liquid glue, um, it will really hold the glass glitter. The one thing that you want to do is not actually like draw on it. You want to just kind of like graze over the project because this way you're getting a nice like bead of glue. Um, also sometimes I find, I just want to notice notice this that I don't sometimes the edges don't always glue but doing this project if you just take the glue and you just go on the edge so you can just see I'm just drawing like this uh, and I'm going to show you another really cool feature about this glue even if you screw up and don't make it perfect 
So you're just going to grow across the edge. You can go back again. I like to um, go back. I don't like to um, stop. I like to just keep going when I can. But if you get more in certain spots than other, there's a real kind of cool trick that you can use, uh, you can um, do with this glue. So, but if you miss a spot, you should go back, okay? And then I like to do a flick and that will remove the strings. Then when you're going to put the glass glitter down, you should always have um, some paper underneath to catch it and make sure that the paper has no glue on it so that it won't stick. So I just like pour it on. I like, I pour the whole gosh darn jar on because the more I pour down, the more weight that actually goes onto um, the glue. It actually, the charge of the, uh, sorry, uh, the charge of the glass glitter, you know, kind of go in um, to the glue better. So the cool thing about this um, glitter, glass glitter was made back um, way, way, way back before we had plastic. They used to um, use glass glitter on a lot of vintage ornaments uh, before they had plastic. So the one thing I want you to know, plastic, it tends to be um, static cling. So I can pour the whole jar in here and every little chard is going to go back into the container and nothing is on your paper. You may have the odd one here or there, but that's the one thing when you pick up your project, you don't want to lift it really high. And a lot of times when people go to pour the glitter on, they shake it on and all it is is making all the chards um, just jump around and you don't want to do that. So isn't that adorable? You can see it's really pretty. You can see the shine of the glitter, but what I wanted to show you is the cool thing is that you have a couple of minutes with this glue um, before it dries. So see how it's a little bit thinner here and it's thicker here. If you can't, you'll kind of get the gist, but you can take your fingernails and just kind of go like this and you can kind of squeeze it together and make, and you can move the glue around um, a little bit. You can manipulate it so that you get a nice fine line, which is really cool. And you have a couple of minutes to do that so that it's a lot cleaner and sharper looking like that. So, and then once this is done, you can either, um, the kits also come with some beautiful seam binding. This is the oatmeal. Um, I love the oatmeal. It's not really white, but it's not really cream. It's just a very nice, I don't know if you can see the color um, next to it on the white paper. This is photocopy paper, so you can kind of see it. It's just like an ivory. Um, there's two different ways of doing this. You could actually just glue the ribbon in the back like that. Or if you want, you can take a crocodile if you have one and just punch a hole. So um, one of the kits gets four postcards that go this way. Another kit gets four postcards that go this way. Another kit that we have, um, and that's with this image, gets a postcard that goes this way. And we have these really cool stacking boxes. Um, these are our beautiful stacking boxes. And I have painted them silver. And they come with the oval thin chips and they will just go over the boxes and again, you will paint them um, whatever color, silver or gold. And then you will take the images that come with the kit and put them onto the oval shapes and do the same type of thing. And um, also we have t the tags like this. We have like cute little bunnies. These are from old postcards that I collected from years and years ago. Um, so we have those. And then, um, and we also have those in small tags as well. I believe it's a set of 12. If it's not, it's more. And then we have also more kind of like shabby, chic bunnies. You can see them. They're really, really, whoops. <laughs> They're really, really cute. Um, and this is like the pink glass glitter. This is gold glass glitter. And um, I love the green. I thought the green turned out really well. And I'm just gonna actually show you the uh, one of the tags I'm going to use with the green glass glitter. And uh, so we'll just clear this away. And this is one of the really cute tags right here. And I'm going to show you one more time with the glue. If not, and you've seen this and you're comfortable, hop on over to www.melissafrancis.com and check out these kits. They are limited because um, we are, will not be selling them after Easter. And we also have the glue on the site and the glass glitter on the site. And we may be having a special uh, too. So there's banners across the top of the website. So check out the banner to see if there's a coupon code. Um, 
because I know we were going to run some kind of special with these if you bought something with it or something, whatever. But by the time you see this video, we'll have it figured out. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour the green on. And again, I'm just pouring it on. I'm not shaking because this way all of the glitter stays on the page right here. And then when you want to knock it off, see how careful I am? I'm not lifting it up. And I just do a tap, tap, tap. Here is a perfect example of where it's sticking out a little bit. What you can do is you can either just go like this or you can just push, you can just push with your, with your thumbnail and clean it up so that it's, it's hard to do and hold it at the same time. Again, there's a little piece here and you can just kind of move the glue around while it's wet and get it so that it's all nice and straight. Isn't that really pretty? I think the green is absolutely gorgeous with the Easter images. So I just want to thank you for, whoops, I got a little clumsy today. Thank you for coming by and taking a look at our video and I hope you will uh, think about picking up our glass glitter, our Easter kits, or our new Melissa Francis uh, liquid glue. Take care.